So we're going to look at geoproximity routing policy, which is probably the most complex routing policy. And it's a bit confusing because it sounds a lot like geolocation, but it's not. And we'll see shortly here. Uh, you cannot create this uh, using record sets. You have to use traffic flow because it is a lot more complicated and you need to visually see what you're doing. Um, and so it's going to be crystal clear. And we're just going to go through here and look at what it does. So the idea is that you are choosing a, uh, a region. So you can choose one of the existing AWS regions or you can give your own set of coordinates. And the idea is that you're giving it a bias around this location and it's going to draw boundaries. So the idea is that if we created um, a geoproximity routing for these regions, um, this is what it would look like. But if we were to give this one 25% more bias, you're going to see that here it was a bit smaller, now it's a bit larger. But if we minus it, it's going to reduce it. So this is the idea behind a geoproximity where you have these boundaries, okay? Now, just to look at it in more detail here, the idea is that you can set as many um, uh, 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 regions or, or points as you want here. And so here I just have uh, two as an example. So I have China chosen over here, and this looks like we have Dublin chose. So just an idea to show you um, a simple example. Here's a really complicated one. Here I chose every single region, just so you have an idea of split. So the idea is you can choose as little or as many as you want. Um, and then you can also give it custom coordinates. So here I chose Hawaii. So I looked up the Hawaii coordinates, plugged it in, and then I turned the bias down to 80% so that it would have exactly around here. And I could have honed it in more. So it just gives you a really clear picture of how geoproximity works. Uh, and it really is boundary based and you have to use uh, traffic flow for that.